former chairman of Ovia Southwest Local Government Council, joining us, Comrade Morrison Ogunobo of your Comrade. Many thanks for coming on the show. The issue of uh, the uh, non declaration of assets by the CGN is uh, at the front burner, but people have talked about the timing of this arraignment against the background is just few uh, months, okay, a few weeks to the election. I read a story saying that the vice president uh, made efforts, uh, was alleged to have made efforts to reach the president that this story or this issue will bring back publicity to the present administration. Uh, there's no way I could have verified that, but that's what I also read. I don't know what your thoughts are uh, as it relates to the timing of this matter. Is it just one of those tactics by government to divert the attention of the populace from the core issues, particularly against the background that this is an election year, campaign is now at its highest peak in the build-up to the elections? Well, my submissions that I'm going to give you are going to be based on my own opinion as a public analyst. I'm not, I'm not going to look at it from the, part, from the angle of party. The CGA is not an ordinary position that should be talked with. I'm not saying that no man is above, you know, uh, the, law. the law. Okay. So if you are found guilty, you should face the consequence of what, uh, whatever offense you have committed. But we must also look at the person involved. This is the man who is the number one custodian of law in Nigeria. And some level of respect should be given. And for such kind of situation, I think there are procedures that ought to be followed for such persons to be questioned. I'm not saying that if the CGN has committed an offense that is too big to face the law, it should get that clear. But I'm saying that processes I expected to be followed in order to give the issue in court the best coloration that will be accepted by everybody around the world. The way it is right now, so many sentiments will come into it. Mm. They will look at it from the angle of political. They may look at it to the angle of chanting the man. They may also look at it from the angle of, okay, maybe the man it seems not to be playing the ball as expected, and that is why all these things are going on. But let's look at the gross of the declaration of assets. Asset. What does the law say? Anybody who flouts it is a criminal offense. Did the CG declare the said asset? The answer is no. Why? It becomes another question. I read through his submission, which of course was made public by my junior comrade um, in one of his, in, the, in one of the response of somebody, and he now sent a link, and I went through he said this said account, he started operating between 1979 to 89. That, that is when he was operating this account. And somewhere between 2011 to 2000 and, uh, 2005, he updated his, uh, his um, what's the name? Assets declaration. By 2016, he was made acting CJ. Ordinarily with his status and caliber and education. He should know that such things are sensitive issues that he need to update and make available. He did not. And you want to call it a mistake? It becomes so funny. So the question is, did he omit that aspect? The answer is yes. Now my own concern is, what is the procedure? Was the procedure followed? The answer is no. Okay. And it becomes a very, very, very sensitive issue. Hmm. And we have to be very careful. Okay. Because if this issue is not properly handled, it may affect the personality and the integrity of legal matters in this country. Thank you. Thank you for the views, Canvaster. Our studio line is 081 387 You can send a message to that number via WhatsApp. And let's get your thoughts, let's get your views and opinions on the plight of uh, the travails of the CGN. Okay, now, uh, Naville, uh, against the issue Good. of a due process not being followed in handling this matter, is it dead on arrival? <clears throat> I will just give an example with a, a statutory flavored appointment. If somebody is employed in an establishment that is a, that is a 
uh, embellished with a statutory favor. That is to say that there are conditions upon which somebody is employed, upon, uh, the condition upon which somebody can be disciplined, and condition upon which somebody can be appointment can be terminated or relieved of your appointment. Now, it behooves the, the employers to follow the procedure when an allegation is of made. misconduct is made against you. Okay. Yeah, if you fail to, to follow the procedure, then you, or you hurriedly terminate the appointment of the person. The person goes to court, will get judgment, because the court ordinarily will not be interested, in the first instance, will not be interested in whether the person is committed guilty, the offense yes, or not. guilty of the misconduct. Okay. It is whether the procedures that the parties have agreed to follow in, uh, in discipline somebody that is erring, okay. whether the procedure was followed. The issue of misconduct will not be secondary. I thank God the lawyer is here. So that is that. So in this very particular case, the, the, the people who are after the Chief Justice of, of Nigeria, mm. who were after him that prevented his, uh, his uh, confinement at the, at the, at the initial, initial stage. Yeah. Yes, the same people. Because uh, I am very careful not to be discussing the speed at which uh, uh, the processes were pursued. Mm. It shows that, because I made mention of it. It shows that, show that the system is efficient? No, is not, that, not that okay. the system is efficient. Okay. It can be efficient. Okay. The, the system is supposed to be efficient. Okay. But in reality, the system is efficient. In, in this case, you see that there, there, there is interest. That interest can be personal interest, or somebody wants to be the Chief Justice of Nigeria. Mm. The interest can be group interest, interest of this not south uh, politics I've made mention of, of before. The interest can be political, and the interest can be national interest. Mm. It is those who are pursuing the chief justice of the of the federation that will determine whether the interest is personal, the interest is group, the interest is political, or the interest is national. Now, based on that analysis and based on judicial precedent, this matter will be dead on arrival. Mm. But now, I made mention of the, the Chief Justice of Nigeria being at the mercy of the President. And I saw the reaction of uh, of, uh, of, uh, of, of Yahweh Esquire mm. and uh, Olu Matis. You know that when we are discussing in the public, the whole world is watching us. Mm. People watch this program from America, from other parts of the world. And so I try as much as possible, even if I have any political party I'm, I'm having sentiment to work, not to discuss on the base of uh, of politics, yeah, but, but that's, that's, that's what you see. Yes, that's I'm, coming, I'm coming to the issue. That's what you see. Yes, those who are watching you at home, they, yeah. they, they, have, they have the interpretation yeah, that, of how you're you know, discussing you know, the issue. You know, you know, I'm, not, you know I'm not a lawyer. You know, let's, I'm not let's, a lawyer. Let's go straight to the you point. You know, I'm not a lawyer. Let's go straight to the I point. I try my best possible to make sure that any anything I'm saying, mm. I base it on the let's, let's, let's go to the point. Yes, the point I'm trying to make is that when you say somebody is at the mercy of the president, now the chief justice of Nigeria. As this matter is going to proceed on trial, and is the chairman or the head of National Judicial Council, he cannot be a judge in his own case. Yeah. Will he not step aside Definitely. for somebody to act as the national? Yeah. As, as the yeah, that chairman. person is not the president. The, the person is not the president, yes. but it's the president that will forward the name. Mm. It's the president that will approve the person. Okay. So that is why I said that the pers the Chief Justice of Nigeria is it's at the, the mercy of the of president. The pre okay. That now that is on on that on that aspect. Uh, the barrister talk about. Uh, Honest, let's, honest let's, let's not make it yes, a, it's part of, no, it's a, not a you versus no, no, it's not you, you it's versus not you. we need to clarify yeah, what yes, we are saying yes, yes, just so go straight and make your point, have, uh, make uh, your point uh, yeah. when, when you say that uh, somebody has admitted making honest mistakes mm. honest mistakes if you say them at the earliest opportunity mm. the, the, the criminal judicial process can can paddle you, but is there it's such like, a thing, like, thing as honest mistake in law? Yeah, yeah, yes, okay. yes. Okay. Then it is like it's like an al, like an alibi that somebody raises mm. at the earliest opportunity. Not that when the case has already proceeded. Okay, proceeded I'll, I'll pause you there, uh, Neville Obayedo. Um, let me come to Lou Martins. Uh, there's, there's this feeling uh, amongst some analysts that um, this is what they call the Saraki treatment. Uh, I, I don't know. If you subscribe to that, I mean this uh, annoyance case, yeah. You know, I, when you said that, I had to control myself. I was almost speaking in tongues, but I remember <laughs> that our audience will not be able to interpret it. Again, is that why I like America? The preamble of the American Constitution says that we hold this truth to be self-evident: that all men are created equal. Why I like God is that God is not a respecter of persons. The conditions of blessing somebody is this fulfilled by somebody else. It's the same conditions. I have said all of that to say, just to quote what the learned barrister said, 
that if the process can be this fast, it is good for the system. But as we speak now, a certain Bishop Anthony Oche has written a petition. I will come to that to call it from that issue I wanted to raise. Sorry, sir, yeah. I have the floor now, sir. Yeah, you have the floor, you no know, Against the former press, the former governor in this state. And he has been invited several times, even to Abuja. That case, as we see it now, is neither here nor there. I didn't think that that case was going to require all of the, so to speak, judicial bottlenecks that he had. If the Code of Conduct Bureau can act in such speed, I just thought that what the EFCC would do would also borrow a leaf, or they will have done it then. Code of Conduct Bureau will now borrow a leaf from the. Because can it, even borrow a tree. It, because <laughs> I understand that it's an allegation. It's an allegation. What I would have thought that even the dramatic person himself, upon which the accusation is made, will have presented himself for investigation by the EFCC. Well, let's go to the issue of. Uh, Saraki. Saraki was uh, horridly put uh, in the dock because some people wanted to embarrass. So we saw the president, the Senate president in court, in the dock by the same code of conduct. The question we're asking now is that why was Saraki thus treated? Because I made mention of the IG of police. Because there's a difference between legality and morality. Bible says everything is lawful, but not everything is expedient. For instance, now in the, there's, the, there's, there are issues about Amina Zakari. And the proper thing to have done, because the issues about Amina Zakari is not the issue just from one opposition party. Almost everybody has an issue with the role of with the position they have put Amina Zakari. And the woman comes and says, I am not the president's niece. Assuming that niece is only when you when you have ties of consanguinity, not knowing that your your if your if your uncle or if your father's younger younger sister marries somebody, that man is your you know yes. uncle. So that relationship, you know, is the ordinary what we have done is that outside legality is to say oh no, so that everybody will see this thing to be fair. This woman can stay put because somebody else can play her role. It's a multi set, it's a it's a multi-party competition. And everybody must be satisfied with the process. So it looks like because Saraki emerged against the odds, when Saraki emerged, it was just nine senators of the APC that he needed. He had 40-something senators of the PDP. And from the day Saraki emerged. Even upon how we speak now, the presidency or certain persons in the presidency have not hidden their lost loss for Saraki. And they have done everything possible to ensure that by hook or crook, Saraki is ousted out of office. Not too recently, not too far ago. A mom and Daura, who did we had DSS, who were moved to the National Assembly. And the National Assembly, the DSS ordinary report to the presidency like the police. So if the DSS can be mobilized and in who taken to the National Assembly against knowing, against the advice of the president, it means that it lends credence to the fact that there is a cabal. However, is that like uh, uh, Femi Falano said, two wrongs don't make a right. Mm. Let us assume, do not consider yeah. that the, Senate, the, the CJN is wrong. Let us even pass judgment. So to, since he has admitted that it was a mistake. There is a process for it. I worked police academy once, and in these coin boxes, this phone that they used to make, this coin, this phone, those days you put coin in. One of the persons made the, put the phone, and the phone wasn't coming on. One of the guys, Stockerberry, took a Barretta pistol and blew the, the box, the box scattered, and then he asked the person to look for his own coin Point. and bring it. Yes, he has provided a solution for the person to find his coin, but the process, process that is was wrong. used is wrong. So if you want to get the Senate president, I mean the CJN, there is a procedure to follow. If you don't follow that procedure, you create the impression that I have a personal grouse with this individual. Fair and there's no other interpretation okay. Uh, okay. to the okay. matter me, other than let that. Let me uh, Yahweh, uh, this, this case as it is now, what, what are your thoughts as as to its impact and the imports in the fight against corruption. Let me commence by saying that I am totally in support of the fight against corruption. Recall that the basis upon which this government was enthroned 
was on the basis of what has happened previously. And as such, there were several hue and cry for a government to come with what it called change. But if this government, for which we all supported to emerge, had doing worse than we had previously, it's, it's, it, it, it's a short path. Anyone could take towards anarchy. The import is very simple. The import is to weaken the institution of the, 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 the institution of the judiciary. Because if the procedure for which an action is to be done, you have refused to follow it, is to create the impression that you do not believe in our constitutional democracy, where all our actions and inactions must be guided by the books. And it, 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 is it too much to do? We still have judges who are currently facing trial, haven't be, 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 be recommended to the president and to the various governors for removal. The Federal High Court too. The Federal High Court in the beginning, there was a judge uh, to Tokedo who was there, who was removed by the NJC. And he's facing trial. We have so many judges here and there who have been dismissed. We have so many who have been suspended. We have so, so many who are replaced on the watch list. The NJC have acted quite dispassionately in the past. So why the problem of not going through that procedure in acting against the CCJN? That again leaves so much suspicion. If there's a procedure, assuming before the case for, for, for which has been the lips of everybody who respect to procedure for trying a judicial officer came, a lot of canvassed that that should be, be, be the way, but they said no. There is not a judicial pronouncement. My pain is that the charge against the CJ is by the federal government. And we have the chief legal officer, who is the attorney general for justice, and, and minister for, 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 for justice and the of the federation, who presides over that. is the chief law officer who appreciates these things more. And if in a system, because of politics, we allow ourselves to be blinded by the reality of the moment, it's a short path towards a bad president. And I feel very strongly it is not too late, no matter how much you travel on the wrong road, knowing that that road will not take you to your destination, it is never too late to go back. I all call on the federal government to retreat instead. If you ask me, they have set the ball in motion. I will not say that this money, the CJ should not appear before the Code of Color Tribunal. I will not say so. But before arraignment, before plea, his legal team should raise preliminary objection on the grounds of jurisdiction. And the case is likely to die at that point. W wouldn't that be presumptuous, as it were? No, if, if it's so, I am saying that if I were the head of that legal team, okay. I will not say, do not appear okay. before the tribunal. Okay. But I am saying that, on, and I expect the tribunal upon that application to watch it stand away. Okay. Because yes, the NJC is the route mm. for which they can... Take, for, for example, a commissioner of police who has erred, involved in criminal misdemeanor, and he is to be charged before a court. You don't charge a commissioner of police for a court. There are laid down procedure, even a general. You take them through the only room trial. First, you dismiss that commissioner of yeah, police. police. You, 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 you dismiss that, 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 that commissioner of police through that uh, 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 procedure required. It has, it has procedure. Yes, it okay. has pro 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 okay. procedure. Okay. Then they cannot present him. Be, be okay, let me, let, me, let me pursue there. That uh, is what, what, what the law also prescribed yeah. for judicial officers specifically. Okay. It's a special arrangement, and I expect the government of the day to respect I'll, I'll come back to you on a point that uh, came up earlier in our discussion. I'm sure Navi would also love to comment on that. But let me bring uh, Morris in here. Um, there, is, there is this feeling that the fight against corruption has been personalized and it's been centered on those who are perceived to be in the opposition or those whose actions or inactions are not favorable to the present administration. What, what's your take on that? Well, these this are not the first time where issues like this have been raised. Hmm. In every administration, the corruption, when Opa Center started, some persons were prosecuted, and the other party will be shouting that it is one way. My own concern. And that's why I said, on issues like this, I would like to give my own opinion. Corruption is one of the major problems that has placed this country where it is today. 
previous administration was on ground, they never took this bold step that this present administration is taking. Tomorrow, if another administration comes, let them go after APC. At the time, we all know that anybody who misbehaves or involves himself in a corrupt practice will face the music. Nigerians will stop all these things they are doing. I do not like to hear about this thing is one-sided. This is uh, the APC administration is only challenging those who are in PDP. Is this how we continue to live in this country? Why are we, why are we, why are we sentimental about this whole thing? The persons we are talking about, did they involve themselves in corrupt practice, yes or no? The answer is yes. How, how do you come to the conclusion that the answer is yes? when there is no formal trial, no formal prosecution. It's based on assumption, in line with the legal provisions in the, in the Constitution. Can I say something? Our major problem is because our institutions are not working. They are not functional. And this is the major problem that this country is facing. When institutions are working very well, you don't need anybody to tell you what to do. Hmm. As a civil servant or as a public officer, if your boss decides to tell you what is not right and ask you to do it, you don't need to do it. But because the institution is not working. Mm. So a few minutes ago, uh, Olu Martins was saying, was giving reference to America. The American president can give an order and the officer in charge will say, Mr. President, sorry, I cannot. This is against the law. Yes. So why can't, why can't this be effective in Nigeria? It is because Nigerians themselves, they take things for granted. Mm. So we need to purge ourselves and be committed to the cause of this country and make everything to be functional so that Nigeria can move to the next level. Okay. But at the time we begin to operate with sentiment, that's where problems, you see the problems are compacted, compounded, and you begin to make references. I don't like that. We're well, just on the verge of uh, capping it up on the discussion <coughs> today. Our WhatsApp number is up and running. If you send a message there right now, we'll be able to read it on the program this beautiful modern morning. But let me quickly come to Naville. On the strength of the procedure of removal of the CGN, I mean, we we'll talked exhaustively to a point on uh, the fact that the procedure was not followed. But we also know that it goes beyond the recommendation or the action taken by the National Judicial Council to even involving the National Assembly. Somebody talked about two-third majority. How does that run, or how will that run in this case? Before we talk of... Uh, Maybe try and stay on call, because I'm yes. limited with time. Yes, you try know, you try know, and stay you on know that there are yes. issues that have been raised here that mm. people are agitated about. The issue of... Uh, of uh, the hospital, the issue of a uh, national chairman of APC receiving bribe, the issue of uh, Bishop Oche. Let me start with the issue of Bishop Oche. Bishop uh, Sadolo Oche uh, wrote a petition, and he said the petition was not acted upon. He now went to court. That matter is pending before court. I do not expect uh, that matter to not come on television for discussion. No, we, 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 you, are, you are even accentuating it now by making reference to it. Yeah, Since yes, you know the yes. matter is in court, yes. why did, yeah, why he, just he, he knew, he knew no, that. You, you, that's the point I said yes. made a while ago. Stay yes. on court so that we can use yes, because the person, the person yeah. that, 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 that is, yeah. that is no, involved no, in this matter. No, no, just stay on course now. Yeah, the just person in this course. matter is not before this television okay, session. just stay on course. Yeah. Now, the issue of National Assembly, you see that we have been talking about change. The president, uh, uh, the government of uh, uh, APC came with the matter of change. And I've been watching the way people, especially people of the opposition, have been reacting to this subject matter of change. When you say change, we are coming to change Nigeria. And I'm the president and commander in chief. And I say change begins with me. Is it that the other people or the governors, whether they are APC governors or PDP governors, is it that they should not change? Are they not supposed to change along the, that line of the change matter? If we say we are running a government, we are running a democracy, is change restricted to a particular political party or one person? What of the local governments in the country? Are they not supposed to change? What of the institutions, various institutions? Of you, you, you are supposed to provide the leadership. The leadership in that direction. The, the leadership has, has been leadership been provided. Yeah, the leadership has been okay. provided. The okay. leadership has been provided. Just that Nigerians are resistant to change. Yes, that's now, if Nigerians are not resistant to change. Mm. A judge is, is said to be having so 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 amount of money at home. 
And that information got to those that are in intelligence, in intelligence unit of the, of the monetary agencies of government. And they say, if we do not crack down on these judges in their houses to get this money as evidence, this money, if we say, write to NJC, we, are, we have information, that the money will disappear. The evidence will no longer be there. And people are not looking at the, they are not looking at the, the intention of the people that were caught with this money. They are looking at the uh, judiciary is an arm of government. It needs to be dependent. It needs to be this, it needs to be that. The judiciary cannot be dependent. And, and the, that same judiciary will not throw the line of, of, uh, of change. The judiciary cannot be dependent at the expense of national security okay. and national interest. Okay. On the issue of a uh, two-third majority, mm. <laughs> I said here just now that the, with, with this matter that uh, is blown open yeah. in the public domain, yeah. that the chief justice of Nigeria, as he is currently now, is at the mercy of the president, quote and unquote. And earlier, I tried to explain what I mean by mercy before the reaction from uh, Esquire and, uh, and the Lumatis. Now, you say that the law says that the, the, before the chief justice can be removed, he the, has to, the president has to now write to the National Assembly, mm. calling for the removal of the, of, the, of the chief justice of Nigeria. Mm. Now, that same president is also empowered. Now that the, the, the chief justice of Nigeria, who is the chairman of uh, National Judicial Council, is having issues, and the issues are laid bare before the public. The same president will still write a letter to the National Assembly to say that because of this matter that is involving the Chief Justice of Nigeria, he is to step aside while somebody asks at the Chairman of Judicial Council. What's the, what's the point you're driving the at? The point I'm trying to make yeah. is that it's going to, call, it's going to, to cause crisis that will make the president is, is it, Isn't this procedure provided for in the Constitution? The procedure yes, is, is provided for the majority. Yeah, right, see, from, when it was provided in the Constitution. Wait, we are be talking about Amina here. Amina issue is provided okay, for the now, Constitution. Now, uh, Neville, 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 let's, yeah. let's not go, you know, no, when you talk about Atima, so we, we don't get, we yeah. don't get the, the audience confused. Yeah. I've asked a specific question. Yeah, ask me the question. The Senate, answer, yes. what's their role in the removal of the CGN? Someone talked about two-third majority. You said we're going to make a comment on it. Yes. I haven't heard you say something substantive in that direction. So I'm going to leave it right now because I'm pressed for time. Yes. Uh, let me get um, you, you uh, let me get let me get let me get let in here. Yeah. But before I come to Ulumat is here yeah, quickly. Yeah. yeah. Very, very then then I, I also need to get reactions on the fact that Nigerians are the ones resisting change. Yes, that that the leadership has been provided, change. but Nigerians are resisting change. Yes. That, that's that's why I have a bother about. The worst people in the world are Americans. If you follow the history of America, the crimes that we commit in Nigeria, don't even commit it there. You will see somebody, the, he just saw the boyfriend kissing somebody else. He will pull a gun and go and kill the person. Have you not seen 11 year old boys bringing guns to school and killing everybody? Everybody resists change everywhere. But what brings it to me? Look at what John Magufuli is doing in Tanzania. Look at what uh, 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 Ado is doing in, uh, in Ghana. Everywhere in the world, it is leadership that brings people in life. You look at what happened just recently, yesterday with Manchester United. That's a clear demonstration of leadership. If you provide the right leadership, people, people, look, people naturally, I want to say it again, people who naturally follow a leadership that is up somebody and that doing. What has, happened to the, what has happened to the NIA fund, slush funds? July 17, sir, 2017. All Jews of Cali was declared wanted by EFCC Very upon the charge of 1.7 billion. Mm. Mm. He's still facing trial. He's facing Sorry, trial. sir. January 11. So you cannot say that. January 11. All Jews of Cali is on the same platform as an NPC candidate now, conversing for Mr. President because he has now come on the other side. And then you see people are resisting change. No, 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 no. I, I, I have, have to come to. No, 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 no. Nevin, Nevin, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. 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 You cannot yourself. come and mislead the public and go through that. Can you and comport yourself? Myself. No, you are not. You are not because you are in Hold on. 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 Hold on.
to my no, can, you, can you go can you yeah, go ahead with your opinion? I, I to quickly said I have a right to my opinion. You do, you do. Yeah. If I have misinformed the public in code, mm. you have the opportunity when your time comes. That's why we are mature people. We wait for our, our turn. That's why you see people on the line. You don't jump your queue. You go and wait for your turn. So when it comes to your turn, you buy all you. You prefer like finish the ATM. That's your own problem. The mm. problem I'm trying to make is the fact that I am I do not agree with the fact that Nigerians resist the government is the superstructure that supersedes over every other aspect of it. Okay, my time is over on this if segment. Government gets yeah, it right. Yeah. People naturally yeah. will fall into line and do what is right. Of course, if we're on the right track to uh, drive the country to where it ought to be, where they call El Dorado, uh, well, you have the indices with you to make the analysis. Thank God it's an election year. In the next uh, couple of uh, days, weeks, it will be an election. You can stamp what you've been going through in the last uh, three and a half years, if it's what you wish for, if it's what you are willing to cope with in the next four years, or do the otherwise. Or do otherwise. The choice is yours. That's the beauty of democracy. That's where we end the show today. I want to say big thanks to all our panelists, Barista of Yahweh, Nevelo Bayado, Commander Morrison of Goa and then Reverend Lou Martin. Thank you, gentlemen, well, for well, coming well, on the it. show. Uh, have a great day ahead. Have a great week ahead. Bye for now. <laughs>